So back to the shit though. Alright. You feel me? Gang shit, no aim shit. You feel me? Got my nigga. We are very about uh Tommy and FG. I want to check out. Shout out my nigga Tommy and FG, by the way. Horrible fashion fits. Now, shout, I'm gonna be real with y'all niggas, right? I've never really been like a uh, a big fashion nigga. Like, I'm the type of nigga like I I'm a I'm the type of nigga, I'll pop out like some joggers and like a t-shirt or some shit or a wife beater. Like I'm never really, I'm never really been like a big ass fashion nigga. Oh yeah, like I could put some shit on that look nice, but I'm not on soon. Oh yeah, this dripping. That I've never been that type. Like I'm not a big fashion nigga. It just if it looks nice to me, I'ma just throw the bitch on. If it's comfortable, I'm throwing the bitch on. You see what I'm saying? If it just looks nice enough for me, like you feel me? But uh, I know some horrible shit, like fashion shit that I wish never fucking existed. But let's get into this. Fashion shit, is one of the most. In Fashion is one of the most integral parts of the human experience and how we can express ourselves. It's defined as quote unquote a form of self expression with specific contexts such as time, place, and purpose. And it's evolved from when cavemen used to simply just throw on a blanket around their balls and walk with their ass hanging out trying to hunt deers to men in the 1600s dressed in leotards and skirts possessedly as can be. Crazy how times change. And now to the present where we have zero clue what it even is. I've made a video in the past on high fashion and how that entire genre is basically coping into the garbage but i didn't talk about the day-to-day -day fashion most of us regular folks actually see people with on the streets and like i said in that video before i'm right. not sitting here at all and claiming myself as the almighty one for everything in fashion in Can fact i wake up kind of like spongebob's closet you know that picture with him and every single outfit is this this is pretty much me right here. this is pretty much me just saying just me like I don't be having a lot of shit, but I'ma pop out some shit like this, you feel me? Same, yeah, that's me pretty much, it works. But even the I most inept, idiotic motherfucker will laugh at some of the shit y'all wear on the daily. So let's start off with the category of what I like to call Discord mod attire. 3D printed hoodies. It should honestly be a- <laughs> You know what's so crazy? If there was a point in my life that I used to look at that shit and I thought it was like cool to look at, but I, I've never, I never like, wanted to get actually i ain't gonna lie i did want to get one at one point but i'm so glad i didn't because now that i'm older that shit you would never catch me in no goof ass shit like that this shit so fucking retarded i'm sorry i'm sorry this shit looks so fucking stupid to me illegal now. at this point to be selling this on purpose with the point of making profit if you don't know 3d hoodies rose to popularity in the early 2010s and unlike everything else that was popular back then and died out this was the one typical fashion thing we just said yeah. you know it's all good <laughs> it's perfectly i want to get me like an itachi 3d hoodie that's why I, that's why i wanted for to people get. to wear this outside i personally thought this was gonna die out with the whole raw xd era but i guess we just kept with the flow the main problem i see with these hoodies is that it's just shoving it in your face for example if you're a marvel fan and want to get some subtle merch to show people that you're into it then that's absolutely fine but what we don't need is something like this like damn bro we get it you like venom these are even horrendous to just look at in real life imagine sitting down in a shop across someone with and this shit facing you i'd already be thinking i'm gonna become a victim and yo i really hate this gift of spider-man that looks like he's getting fucked Right here, hold on. With this shirt facing you. Hold I'd on. already be I hate this gift so fucking much because when I first seen this gift, I thought it was raw as hell, but now I can't stop looking at it because it does look like this nigga Spider-Man is getting fucked by the lizard because somebody made like a parody sound of it like him getting fucked and shit like I and I'ma become a victim and you can almost so never match any of these hoodies with anything at all which is why I'm still confused on how people rationally buy these hoodies and wear them to outdoor places looking stupid as hell exactly. wearing a galaxy hoodie with cargo pants don't get me started on the fu oh my hand the rock yo I seen so many niggas with this when I was growing up the little ramen hoodie this is a class ramen right noodles up. hoodie with jeans on a flaming hot cheetos hoodie with black sweatpants are you not just a walking advertisement doing this at Pretty least much. get paid and the same thing especially goes to anime fans who love to buy these hoodies these be the type of anime fan species i try to stay away from in public like don't walk up to me as far as everyone is concerned i don't watch anime if you're around me i know if you're wearing one of these your smells are already off the richter charts <laughs> as well like there has to be some signed agreement where if you have one of these hoodies you have to I keep a certain no stench like that. and it's completely understandable to me if you want to show somebody in public that you watch anime but this whole thing is just highly unnecessary it'll just make those people not want to talk to you even more <laughs> and don't even let me get started on whatever the hell these yo I oh my god i was about to talk about that fo how many niggas have y'all seen wear these fucking hoodies right here g 
Oh my fucking life. I promise you. I fucking hate these hoodies. How the fuck do you go out and wear some shit like that? Of literally anime bitches. Like, chat. This hoodie is literally much, pretty much just faces of anime bitches getting fucked. Or squirting and shit like that. Like, I, I, I don't. What the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Things are. If you ever. I promise you, if I ever caught catch a motherfucker wearing that shit around me, I'm gonna beat the fuck out you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna beat the dog shit out your goof ass. Well, you deserve to get your fucking ass. We do not wear no shit like this around me. This shit is so fucking lame. This is some brufa ass, funky ass shit, folk. Funky ass, brufa ass niggas, folk. The fuck? War or you never catch me wearing no shit hoodie. like this. I'm calling the FBI to personally put a head side hoodie. Shorty. These are the type of people that truly turn off other people from ever watching anime. And sadly, this is the stigma of people that. That don't watch anime think all of us are like oh and you're absolutely a deplorable person if you ever wore this in a public place like a school i knew someone in high school who religiously wore this hoodie in high school and it's the exact type of person you're thinking of i'm gonna keep it youtube safe but in a nutshell the school shooter looking type that's automatic hoe repellent for the next four years of high school now you gotta wait until college it's also the same for those nasty ass kids who wore minecraft hoodies in school i was really in high school with the f classmate that rocked Hell one damn no. near every day it was so embarrassing his smell was nearly enough to clear up the entire classroom and we both graduated out of the same class so god knows what's happening to him now in life i always wonder that his too like, probably boy. what happens to the odd ones after school they kind of just what? vanish and disappear but the next thing we got is anything to do with the brand mischief if you don't know the brand mischief, mischief they're the creators of the most amazing fashion trend in 2022 that really just pushed the limits on creativity in the art field the big red boots yeah they made oh they, this is them they the one who made the mickey mouse boots that everybody keep on wearing for some fucking reason <laughs> These. I knew society was cooked this when these so came out and everyone went ape yeah. shit wild over them on social media for a time. People online were scavenging nations just to get them, putting their organs on the black market just to get them, doing anything they possibly could to get them except getting a job. And for y'all that don't remember, let me just jog your memory real quick. These shoes didn't sell out in weeks, in days, in hours, not even in minutes. They sold out in a couple of seconds. Oh. See? Official news source and all. Y'all oh. can search it up. I swear! Resellers were having a field day with these ugly pieces of trash. It was an absolute gold rush for them. Them bitches shot up to four times the price straight away. Can oh. you imagine dropping an apartment's rent money on these things? The little drop of social media clout ended for them, and now look at the price of them real quick. Let me just show you it. Yes, you're reading that correctly. Wow. That is $249. Wow. This gotta be worse depreciation in price than buying a new car, house, furniture, computer, and anything really you're better off just burning the money in hand and talking specifically about the shoe i feel like they could have done a better job like why the f was their first choice with this concept astro boy is anyone even alive from when it was airing i'm pretty sure they were still watching tv in black and white i watched the movie why not astro do boy? anything else like the spongebob shoes for example or sonic the hedgehog shoes or even the super mario bros boots True. people made these concepts right after they drop i think they need to get a new marketing team also mischief has got to have the worst shoe collection out of any other brand I've ever seen. Like when they released their wavy baby Ew. shoes. Which I mean, this would have been drip if you're hopping out the Miska Muska Mickey Mouse doodle house. But I don't know, I can't really imagine any scenario where this would work out in real life. Or the AC.1, which is just a medical boot. And much more that I really don't feel like going through. They shell out all these different types of things in the name of fashion, but for some reason, people flock and love mischief for their fashion, which confuses me on how. The next thing we got is it's pretty obvious and all you guys could guess it but nonetheless off-brand clothes before i get into this believe it or not i'm actually an advocate hikey. for a lot of off-brand things hey nigga i'm from the trenches i wore a lot of off-brand shit oh i wore all off-brand shit i'm from the trenches straight all my trench niggas can relate we wore all off-brand shit you feel me nine days i don't know i i kind of just don't even wear off-brand shit i just don't get off-brand shit like i just wear clothes like they don't even be name brand just be 
irrelevant as like n not popular branded clothes. If that make like that makes sense. Like like this shirt. Like see what I'm saying? It's not a brand. It's just a regular ass shirt with stitch on. Like, I wear shit like that. I wear regular ass white shirt. Some regular ass sweatpants. Some regular ass blue jeans. Some regular ass shirts. Like I just wear shit like that. If that makes sense. Like you know. So I be posted up in the crib drinking Dr. Bob. When I'm hungry, I start snacking on okie dokies. I even like to turn on the occasional wee wee and play to my heart's content. But where? On phone now. On phone now. That off brand shit be hitting. The off brand noodles, the off brand cereal, all that shit be hitting. Where I have to draw the line personally is clothing. I don't understand how some people can walk outside with a large smile on their face and have the physical power to walk knowing full and well the fake logo is shining like no tomorrow. You know damn well everyone that passes you and sees it are gonna make fun of you with their friends. It's gonna be the one interesting thing they bring up from their day which they can laugh about. Like, man, I had a terrible oh gas. Day. The worst of worst days. Nothing could ever get worse than this. But did you see that nigga's Jordan's? <laughs> the fuck is his logo doing? That shit throwing it back. And the thing is, Yo, I, I remember going in the uh, gas station one time when I was a little boy, and like I seen the Jordan logo literally of a nigga like getting ready to dunk. He was running like this, like with the ball, getting ready to dunk. Yo, <laughs> motherfuckers used to get their Jordans and stuff from the um from the gas station and shit. You feel me? I'm specifically talking about the most obvious examples. Not the nearly identical fake ones that about 99% of regular people won't even be able to tell. In fact, there'll be some companies that the replicate is so good, you're better off just buying the fake shit than the real one for 80% less. At least that's how I see it. They're all made in the same Chinese factories anyways. Child labor works about the same. No, what we're talking about is the ones like the Jordan logo. Nigga, stay. Gucci with the missing chromosome. Adidas with half the letters on the spectrum. That's just gotta be embarrassing <laughs> to even walk out with. Even the kids that wore fake shit when I was in school never, ever, ever took it that far. Your ass would get roasted so far into the sunset, you would be in an entire different multiverse. And my dumb ass almost bought one of these in the past when I was in middle school. This was back when Yeezys were at their peak and damn near everyone wanted a pair. I didn't really no. know anything about the shoe game back then other than from Listen, my- Listen, to this day, I still know a lot of shit about the shoe game. Like, Ah, chat, listen, because I didn't go a rich, okay? And, like, I'm the, listen, chat, I'm the type of nigga that, like, I don't really care about brands, name brand and shit. That's just how I grew up. So, like, I'm not a shoe head. Like, I don't, I know brands of shoe. Obviously, you know, Nike, Jordan, Adidas, all that shit. But, like, the, the type of, like, style of the shoe, like, oh, what type, what type is it? Like, is he the Jordan ones? Is he? I don't know all that shit. I'm not like a hype beast ass nigga. I don't fucking know if it looks nice. I want it. That's it. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not a shoe head. Never have been. I don't give a fuck about name brand shit. All that Gucci. I don't give a fuck. I didn't grow up like that. Maybe like I said, it's just probably just the way I grew up. Cause I grew up poor as fuck. And I still don't. Even when I start making money, I still don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't jewelry. Name brand and shit, I don't care about it. It don't intrigue me. It don't fantasize me. I don't care. Like, it does it. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. It don't do shit for me. You feel me? Jewelry, name brand clothes, all that goof ass shit. It don't do shit for me. I'm sorry. I don't care. Brother, but sorry. I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford it. Until I stumbled upon these bad boys. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this. Not only did they look like them, but they were light up. Those. And four times cheaper the price. Luckily, I never went through the transaction. God knows where I would be, but I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I wouldn't be on this earth for sure. Anyways, the next thing we got is these tight ass jeans and striped jeans. I don't even know if these are called striped jeans, but I Yo, I seen so many niggas with this that went to my school. Why didn't motherfuckers wear these? I'm just going with it. I don't really understand how fashion went from jeans nearly falling off your entire body that's true motherfuckers back in the day in the early to early to mid 2000 motherfuckers used to what bag y'all remember the baggy ass jeans this shit y'all remember this style big ass t-shirts big ass baggy ass pants that you damn near couldn't even fucking fit my mom used to dress me up like that when i was a little boy damn you bogus as hell mama by the way <laughs> i wore shit like this but now that we old the motherfuckers were tiny now 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 have you seen I don't know what the fuck happened, motherfuckers. You seen all these rappers and shit? They pants be so fucking tight, you may think they got a pussy. I swear to God. <laughs> Bro, niggas be wearing tight ass fucking pants. And I, I, think, I can't do the tight pants thing. Like, 
I could wear some pants that actually fit me, but for all that tight ass skin, no, how the fuck you niggas be, I have a dick, my shit need breathing space, y'all balls be crunched up like this all day, sweating and shit, bro, y'all, y'all got with skin jeans, you barely being able to walk it. in them without tripping, to these shit. circulatory, this is what I'm talking about, shit like this, like, Kevin Gates, this nigga ass is out, by the way, in the back, yeah, as you can probably fucking tell, this is what niggas be wearing now, tight as hell, you, they could barely move their fucking legs, they just be, how do you niggas walk around wear shit like this? Tight ass fucking jeans, folk. Like them bitches be tight as hell, boy. Cutting off circulation in your legs, all type of shit, boy. Chicken legs, chicken legs, <laughs> chicken leg ass nigga, boy. Fuck you talking about stick leg ass nigga. Like, how do y'all be wearing shit like this? G, I don't get it. I can't do shit like that. I have a dick, my nigga. I can't do shit like this. Hell no. Squeezing ass jeans. There's also God, many names damn, for these type of coming. jeans. If you're in the United States, it's the ATL jeans. If you're in the UK, oh yeah, that's what they call the ATL jeans. They, it's just jeans. Either way, these jeans have got to be like the niggas be. I, I could match how niggas be doing. They be putting their jeans on. They be having to do the. You know, how bitches got to jump when they thick, so they got to do the hook. <laughs> they got to jump the shit. That's how niggas be putting their jeans on. They got to do the jump and shit because they be thick as. Fuck. <laughs> hey, check it out though. You feel me? Y'all see what I'm wearing though, right? See this shit? Regular ass sweatpants. See how loose these bitches is? That's what I'm talking about. Like, hell no. I need breathing space, boy. You got me fucked up. Y'all niggas be wearing all that. Boy, hell no. You got me fucked up. High heels for men because you can barely move in that bitch. I'm Your legs separate too hard and that's a testicular torsion right there. Yep. Do I even have to explain these ones you know if you're still out here wearing jeans with stripes you're probably a lost cause anyways and last we got the shiesty mask slack yo you know so crazy i made a story about this like two i posted like a little something on my instagram story about shiesty masks back in 2021 i was like why the fuck do you bitches love these shiesty masks like why my brother owns one of my little brother <laughs> I was thinking about getting one one time. I'm so glad I never did, folks. I don't have one because I just, I never got the point of the shiesty mask. Like, I don't, the little ski mask, because they actually call ski masks, but motherfucker call them shiesty masks because, you know, Pooh Shiesty, because he, he kind of like made it popular. So I'm going to just call them ski masks, shiesty masks, whatever. Like, I just don't, look, what the fuck do I need a shiesty mask for? For what? Like, that shit just seems so unnecessary. Have a big ass mask on my face, folks. And like, it was cool at first, like, oh, okay, they got, like, none, right? But it's the fact these niggas was wearing these shits. I see niggas wear this shit at graduations. I see motherfuckers wearing this shit in church. Motherfuckers was wearing this shit everywhere. Like, folk, who is you hiding your face from? This shit would've been cool during 2020 and during the whole COVID-19 shit. This shit would've been wrong. But, folk, I, like, I just, niggas be really dead as wearing this shit. Well, like, folk, who is your op, shorty? You ain't, ain't nobody looking for you. Now, if you in Chicago, this makes sense to wear. Especially if you in the streets, this makes sense. But to all you other niggas, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Stop. You look goofy as hell, bro. Take that shit off. I know that moment was the last time you watched that motherfucker. I know that shit stank. I know that shit stank, folks. Yo, hot ass breath breathing on that shit. Come on, folks. Ski mask slash balakava, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I feel like ski masks were always a popular thing in rap, but they really got big because of TikTok, especially with the rappers like Pushiesty and Ye. Ski mask at every point in the world started to sell at rapid rates in the 2020s that no one had ever seen. And at first, I feel like it was a small section of people rocking them, but then, just like everything to ever exist past the 2020s, TikTok got a hold of it and completely and utterly destroyed it. People started to wear them everywhere they Hell go. Well. At the grocery store, at family dinners, at their f graduations. Oh, the right. madness never ended. People just threw them on in any occasion and gladly walked outside. And I swear, people think they're 10 times harder when putting I one. I swear, niggas be walking around that bitch with them shicey on like they really about some shit. Like, boy, get your bitch ass on, boy. You ain't about shit. You ain't finna do shit. Soft ass ass, boy. You look, you still look pussy. Take that shit off, fo. Who, what you finna do? On fo now. Niggas be walking around with them motherfuckers like they, boy, get your goof ass on, boy. Hold on. You have the most suburban raised, the no rich family, them. rich friends, rich relatives, never even seen a f 
impoverished house. And as soon as they put one on, all of a sudden they got five bodies, ten triple homicides, five dead homies. <laughs> they become completely thugged out. I knew this fashion trend was personally dead when people like Dream started to wear. You know what? I'm gonna shut up before I get banned. Where? Yes, this is a real I'm photo. This is not AI generated. And I gotta have an honest moment here. If you're ever out there wearing a ski mask inside of any store because people wear them anywhere and they don't care, don't be surprised if your ass gets racially profiled. There's no reason for you to be wearing a ski mask and walking in a store all conspicuous. I don't care who you are, all the cameras are turning on you the entire time you're inside of the store. And I love how the function were completely changed for them. Like they were mainly meant to be worn in the winter time for the cold and when it was freezing. And then they ended up just turning into some regular niggas attire for the day. So that's really about what I got for day-to-day -day fashion that's just horrendous to me. But you know what? I'm not gonna discount any of these fits. You could really throw on anything and you know, as long as you know how to rock it, you know what I'm saying? Then you could- That's how I be doing my clothes boy i just put on anything boy and that bitch look nice on the gas boy hey that bitch look nice to me that's why i do i don't give a fuck all that just because by the way i gotta get this out there too just because you are name brand fucking clothing does not mean you know how to dress my nigga let's get that out there niggas be thinking just because they break supreme gucci or louis all that does not mean you know how to dress it's not how that shit go know how to dress is know how to put that shit on right i don't give a fuck if you got name brand shit that don't mean you know how to dress you feel me, folks? Come on. Goof ass nigga. Rock it. But I don't know. It's gonna take some real work to make something like the Mufasa fit or Wolf fit work out. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. No fault now. Shout out Tommy. Shout out my nigga Tommy. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Shout out my nigga Tommy, 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 Tommy. Hey. Hey, hey, shout my boy Tommy on some shit, boy. Shout out Tommy. I feel you, boy. Shit crazy as hell, boy. Shit crazy. Shit crazy as hell, man. W vet though. W vet. Shit crazy as hell. Y'all niggas be getting name brand shit. Think y'all ass can dress. That's just like, that's the point where we came to, chat. Motherfuckers be wearing like name brand and shit. And thinking they could dress. Well, you can't. Man. Okay.